Let's read the question, students. Anode and cathode of lead storage battery respectively are made up of. The options are lead plates, comma, grid of lead packed with Fe2O3. The next is lead plates, comma, grid of lead packed with PbO2. Next is iron plates, comma, grid of lead packed with Fe2O3. And the last is iron plates, comma, grid of lead packed with PbO2. Students, lead storage battery is one of the most important secondary cell. It is used in inverters and automobiles. It consists of lead anode and a grid of lead packed in lead oxide which is PbO2 as cathode. It also consists of 38% sulfuric acid solution as electrolyte. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 2. That is anode is lead plate and a grid of lead packed with PbO2 as cathode. So the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Moving to next question students which is 52. Let's read the question students. Reaction not involved in corrosion of iron is and the options are O2 plus 4 H plus plus 4 electron gives 2 H2O. The next is Fe oxidized to Fe2 plus plus 2 electron. The next is Fe2O3 plus XH2O gives Fe2O3 dot XH2O. The last is 4 OH minus gives O2 plus 2H2O plus 4 electron. Students in this question we are given with 4 reactions and we have to identify that among these 4 reactions which reaction is not involved in corrosion of iron. So I am writing those reactions which are involved in the corrosion of iron. Starting with reaction at anode at anode oxidation takes place which is Fe converts to Fe2 plus plus 2 electron that means this reaction is involved in corrosion of iron moving to next reaction that is reaction at cathode reduction takes place at cathode which is O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electron gives 2H2O liquid also Fe2O3 combines with XH2 and give a brown layer which is Fe2O3 dot XH2O. That means option number 1 and option number 3 are also involved in the corrosion of iron. The only reaction among the given options which is not involved in corrosion of iron is option number 4. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Moving to next question which is 53. Reduction potential of hydrogen electrode when this electrode is placed in a solution of pH of 3 is the options are 0, next is minus 0 0.1773 volt, the next is 0 0.1773 volt and the last is 0 0.3546 volt. So students first of all I am writing the reduction reaction of hydrogen proceeding with Nernst equation. So H plus plus 1 electron gives half H2 gas. Let's proceed with the Nernst equation to calculate reduction potential of hydrogen electrode which is E H plus H2 gives E naught H plus H2 minus 0 0.0591 upon N since the value of N is 1 log pressure of H2 raised to the power half upon concentration of H ion. Let's calculate. The standard reduction potential of hydrogen electrode is 0. We already know. Minus 0 0.0591 upon 1 log. Since the value of pressure is not given in the reaction, so we'll consider it as 1. So it will become concentration of H ion minus 1, which is equal to minus 0 0.0591 multiplied by minus log concentration of H ion since the minus log H ion is equals to pH so minus 0 0.0591 multiplied by pH and the value of pH is already given which is 3 which ultimately equals to minus 0 0.0591 multiplied by 3 which is equals to minus 0 0.1773 volt that means the correct answer for this question is Option number 2. Moving to next question which is 54. 
in cathodic protection of iron iron surface is covered with silver the next is coating of paints or thin film of oil is covered on iron the next is iron acts as cathode and more electropositive metal as anode the next is protected metal acts as anode students i think this is a very easy question and very popular question as well as we all know that in cathodic protection of iron iron acts as cathode and more electropositive metal as anode that means the correct answer for this question is option number 3 Moving to next question, which is fifty-five. Property which is not colligative is the options are relative lowering of vapor pressure. The next is boiling point. The next option is depression in freezing point, and the last option is osmotic pressure. Students, first of all, we need to know that colligative properties are those properties which depends upon the number of solute particles. So let's find out that among the given options, which is not a colligative property, starting with number one. which is relative lowering of vapor pressure students this is a colligative property moving to next option which is boiling point students this is not a colligative property as elevation of boiling point is a colligative property boiling point is not a colligative property moving to next depression in freezing point this is again a colligative property moving to last option which is osmotic pressure this is also a colligative property so the correct answer for this question is option number 2 Moving to next question which is question number 